What's up guys, I'm LQ, this is the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me right here at my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And right now, I'd like to give you guys my thoughts on The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 17. So yes, there's going to be six episodes that they're going to add to Season 10. And they're going to be kind of a segue to Season 11. And I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of new <clears throat> ground being broken as far as as far as advancing the storyline in these six episodes, because these six episodes were kind of conceived after season 11 was conceived. And if the if the first episode, episode 17, if the first episode is any indicator of that, I think I'm going to be completely right, because um, this episode did not really move the story forward. What it did was it delved more intimately into some of the characters that we know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we did get to see Maggie facing down Negan for the first time in years. And you could tell that she was surprised that he was out of jail. Yeah, I mean, that was written on her face that she was surprised that he was out of jail. You could also tell that... She didn't want Negan to rattle her. She didn't want to look like, oh, he surprised me, or he scared me, or he made me sad, or made me angry. She had that stone-cold look on her face um, that Maggie is so good at doing. And Negan's like, hey, Maggie. And Maggie just stares him down just walks right by. And uh, I think that we're going to see some really good interactions between Maggie and Negan over the course of the next several episodes. Um, right now... Right now, the dynamic between those two is some of the most interesting stuff happening in The Walking Dead. All right, Negan has essentially redeemed himself in the eyes of Alexandria. Right, he took out Alpha. He's been working hard. He saved Judith. He is somebody who has been a redemptive character. But the problem is that Maggie, the person who has the most hatred for Negan, the person who wants most to see him dead, she hasn't been around for any of that redemptive stuff. All Maggie knows is Negan killed Glenn. And now she's got this constant reminder in the form of her son. And how is she going to reconcile the fact that Negan has basically paid his dues to society, but he has not paid his dues to Maggie? And uh, that, to me, that's going to be a very interesting storyline Um moving forward we got introduced to a new set of villains in this episode um the reapers will they be a a group of villains it's going to be around for a while or are they just a few episodes and done um set of villains i don't know the one that um that uh, maggie and daryl and and their crew the one that they fought was pretty formidable you know, he had himself a ghillie suit, he had himself a sniper rifle, he was a, um, you know, a, a pretty proficient person of the, of the you know, using the grounds, guerrilla warfare type, uh, type tactics, and um, again, was a very big, formidable person. So, what kind of people are the Reapers? Are they, all, are they all like this? Are they soldiers? What kind of people are they? I don't know. All we know is that they destroyed Maggie's former home. And now it looks like they've been following Maggie. And they followed Maggie all the way back to her former home, the hilltop, and potentially even Alexandria. Obviously, you got Daryl, who is just, you know, he's loyal to a, to a fault sometimes. And uh, and he's it was great to see him interact with Maggie again. Um, but uh, the interaction with Carol was a little bit more tense because Maggie got to learn that Carol was the one responsible for releasing Negan. And uh, Carol even um, justified those actions. So, yeah, I think that's going to be fun. I think the, I think all this is going to be, be pretty cool stuff to explore. I think one of these six episodes is going to be exploring Negan's backstory, right? His wife, um, her, her dying, and the inspiration for what he does in the future with the Saviors. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that stuff. Guys, Negan is basically my favorite character now. And I know that like he was the reason a lot of people left The Walking Dead because he was just too too mean <laughs> but he's really become this fantastic protagonist that i really enjoy rooting for a lot of that's because of the charisma of jeffrey dean morgan obviously um so yeah 
I do think these six episodes are going to be more character focused rather than plot and story focused, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to be able to explore some new some new sides of this story um, that that uh, might be able to take this take uh, give us at least some new perspective on what's going to happen in season eleven. So I like the first episode, or I guess the seventeenth episode. I liked it. I, I especially like the Maggie. Um, Maggie Negan interactions, but this was a very Maggie centric episode. You know, it, it involved her and her journey back. And the title was even called what was it called, The Way Home or something like that. Um, and it, be, it was because Maggie came home. So, so yeah, good episode. Nice to see Maggie back. Want to learn more about her masked friend? Uh, very mysterious so far. And um, yeah. Definitely looking forward to seeing more Walking Dead uh, when it officially, I believe it officially comes back tonight. I believe it officially comes back tonight, the 28th of February. So definitely looking forward to seeing more. And uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you think of episode 17 of The Walking Dead in the comments down below. I got to view it early because of my AMC Plus uh, subscription. But uh, when you get to view it, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. I'd love to have a conversation about it. While you're down there, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of content and I want to make sure that you're up to date with everything that I'm doing. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here at the LQ Review where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.